I'm about to show you a piece from the world's hardest puzzle. Well, it's a jigsaw puzzle and it's allegedly the hardest one. Today I'm gonna start, suffer, and hopefully solve it. And since you were a child, you probably solved puzzles in some way, shape, or form. Video games, packing for a trip, or investigating social media on why this person broke up with that person, either way, you probably haven't done the hardest puzzle. There are many sites that claim that these three puzzles are the hardest puzzles. This one is made by Blue Kazoo and comes in all white and all black. And this one is by Beverly and is a micro jigsaw puzzle with all white pieces called White Hell. Based off the name alone, I'm definitely doing this one. These are all normal cut thousand piece puzzles and I realized that just because the puzzle has more pieces doesn't mean that it's technically harder. I don't think I understand what I'm about to get myself into. Bro, look how small these pieces are. Okay, they got liquid glue, so that's good to know because I'm never doing this again. Set that to the side. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Wait, before I open it, I just want to take some bets. How long do you think it'll take me to do it? Optimistically, one week. But I know that might, might not happen because avid jigsaw puzzlers, jigsawers, puzzle people, yeah, whatever. They, they said it took them like eight months. Bro, look at, look at this. This is ridiculous. I don't even know where, for, well, duh. You gotta start with the edge pieces, the border. Establish your borders. I'm just gonna assume that I won't be able to do this by myself, so I'm probably gonna have to like recruit Abigail or some of my friends or something, cause boy, ain't no way, boy. As I was getting the edge pieces, I was like, I gotta find the corner pieces, which I only found three. Um, so either it's in here and I just can't find it or it's in here and I gotta go through all that again. I'm going from these, I don't even know if you can see this, the horizontal <clears throat> to the whatever these are called. And I'm literally having to like go through each one, see if it fits, find one, goes to the side or the other pile, find one, see if it fits, keep on going. So that might take me a while to do. This room is a absolute mess. But here we go, we're about to get back at it. My main goal today is to finish one side of the border. It'd be great if I could do the whole border, but we'll see what happens. It took me a while to do those eight pieces, but I think as I get in a groove, I'm gonna keep on going, keep on trucking, keep on puzzling. Yeah. It's taken me like, it feels like three or four days, but um, I finally got the border done. The good thing though is that I have like a, a layout of how big this is gonna be. I'm probably gonna tap out, and by tap out, I mean like do the, where you look at the symbols on the back. All right, you're probably like, what are you talking about? So two other things came in the box. This first thing was like a start and finish thing is what I could tell. Second thing was these symbols. Each of the pieces have a symbol on the back and they match the di four different quadrants you see right here. And the back basically says that this is like an SOS that kind of just, if you are driving yourself insane, you can just use this to guide your way. But I feel like even if I did that, it's still gonna take me a while. Cause this is crazy. Like I understand why people said eight months. I don't know if you noticed, but like what sucks about this puzzle, which I, I guess I understand why it's called White Hell, is like the pieces, they fit each other, but they don't like, they're like loose when they are together. This piece, it goes together, but it's also like, look at that. Like you can easily move it. For the sake of getting a video out and just uh, not spending my entire year doing this, I'm gonna look at the symbols on the pack. And it still might be difficult, but it'll make my life a little bit easier. It's not cheating if it's helping. Well, hang on. <laughs> Got me a smoothie and it is time to separate these puzzle pieces. Um, so I'm gonna separate them by symbols on their back or on the back of the pieces. So let this be a lesson. Although they may look different, they all still have the same blood. Well, they're, they're the same color piece. I was just trying to relate it to, you know, even though people have different color skin and all that, we all bleed the same and we're all people once I accepted this help that I was giving myself, it, it gave me like a new motivation. It just lit a fire underneath me that was like, all right, let's do this thing. Believe it or not, that took me like 53 minutes, which is kind of crazy, but I was watching TV, so it like, the time went by a little bit quicker. So now here's the, I don't know if it's the fun part, but it's, it's gonna be better than what I was doing. I guess this is the price that you pay for wanting to like get some help with this, because like, because I flipped the pieces over, I can like put it together, but then when I want to put it back in the actual puzzle and flip them back over, I got to flip them back over and because these pieces were, they're like loose fitting, uh, it's going to be annoying. Don't you love the videos that start off like this and they're like, oh, I didn't see you there. Even though I turned the camera on and pressed record before I did the whole, oh. 
Didn't see you there. Danger, danger, danger. Hey, I did the whole danger side. Hey, let's go. Whoop we'll it! But there's like no better feeling than when you're like really close to getting, well, not the whole puzzle. Yes, the whole puzzle, but a section done. Honestly, the hardest part when like starting one of these sections is figuring out what the end piece is the end piece of that section and yeah because I figure out there's 19 pieces across but like if I the first piece I grab if it's the middle like at some point the right side everything to the right of that piece stops but I don't know exactly when because the symbol just keeps repeating and yeah does that make sense so by now I'm pretty sure you could tell what my strategy was I would get each pile of whatever symbol it was and I would separate the horizontal and vertical pieces and then I would just kind of just pick a random piece to start and go from there and then I'll eventually finish it and then put it in the rightful place on the puzzle. Boom! There it is. One last spot. I'm so glad that this is the last one because I am so tired of doing this. It's been multiple days. I've been wearing so many different outfits. It's been like a month and a week, maybe two. We're getting so close. I can almost just celebrate early. I almost think it's ridiculous that it's taking me this long to do, obviously considering that I'm just living life as normal. Like my last video in this video, well and the one before that challenge wise, I just, I never wanna do this again. I'm just being real. By the way, if you skipped ahead to this part of the video, then you know, it's it's okay. I mean, we're still cool, we're still friends. I mean, you could have watched the whole thing, but it is what it is at this point, I guess. It's the last flippage of the piece to put in the whole piece. You get your paper, you get, another sheet of paper. You put the extra sheet of papers away. You slide everything else out of the way. You carefully slide the puzzle a little bit further. No, nope, no, nope. okay, we're just gonna leave it there because that's about to break. A little shimmy. Oh, oh. Aw, oh, yeah, man. Come on, man. Now, just like we've been doing last time, if I do this, after what feels like forever. It's definitely been over a month. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, oh, please. And here we have the final out of focus piece. Oh, here it is, it's in focus. It goes in. Here we go. Here we go. And it sticks the landing, woo! morning feels quickly turns to afternoons it's like that i can barely go and catch it kind of how i feel with you because you're